One of Edpuzzle's most powerful tools is its ability to cut out portions of a video you don't want your students to see. To demonstrate that, I'm going to come down to my How to Tie a Tie video, and I'm just going to click on it. And off to the right, you can see there are these four options. If I don't want to make any changes, I can immediately assign it, but I do want to make changes, so I'm going to go into Edit. And it starts off, um, the edit mode begins here in the cut section. So um, I'm not going to worry right now about voiceover or questions. I'm just going to cut. Um, you can see I've already been in here playing around. Um, so I am going to reset this video so you can see how to begin. Um, so right now the blue highlighted area is the portion of the video that my students will see. At the moment, it's the entire video. Um, so what I'm going to do is click on that blue section. I'm going to mute the microphone and then pause it. And here I'm going to add a cut. So um, where I place the cursor at this point does matter. I can always change it later, but it would be easier if I move this cursor to the exact point in the video where I want to cut. So let's say that at, at second 23, is where I want to begin to remove video. I can add cut there. So I have the first 23 seconds are in this segment and the rest of the video is here. So you can write down ahead of time exactly what second you want to stop and start your video. Um, for now, I'm just going to arbitrarily choose a time and say that I have determined that the video between 23 seconds and 52 seconds is not something I want for my students, so I've created this gray gap. Um, and from there, I can continue to cut. If that's it, then I'm done. I can click up on Finish, and those seconds in between here will be removed. If I need to add another cut, I simply click on the segment where I'm going to add it, and I can again move the cursor to the point where I want the next cut to begin, and click Add Cut. And then just to show you the other possibility, if you didn't figure out ahead of time exactly where your cuts are, I can just click play. And when the video reaches the point where I want to jump back in with my kids, I can just hit pause and say, yep, that's the exact spot. It's at one minute and 41 seconds. So I'm going to drag this guy to one minute and 41 seconds. If you don't trust your dragging capabilities, I think I can even click up here and change it to 1 minute and 41 seconds, and you might see it jump a bit. Um, oh, it jumped, but it didn't bring the cut with it. So I can't type it in there. I do have to drag it. It looks like typing just moves the cursor there. So if I go over here and, and type in 2 minutes and 41 seconds, you'll see that the cursor jumps to 241, but the, my segment did not. Um, so I can just keep adding cuts wherever I want. And as long as you remember that it's the blue that will remain in the video and the gray that will be cut out, you should be fine. I'm going to come up, hit Finish, I'm assuming that I don't need to do any voiceover, I don't need to change any questions. I'm going to click Finish. And now my new video you can see is significantly shorter. It's um, 3 minutes and 10 seconds because I've cut out a whole bunch of it. And now I can move ahead and assign it.